Hi, welcome to Engineer Corner. If you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Today on Engineer Corner, I'm going to show you how to set up your own personal web server in Windows 10. You can use this on your home network and a production server, a testing environment, or development environment. First of all, all you have to do is go to Google and type in XAMPP and search that up, just like the website XAMP. When you get to the website, you want to Pick your operating system. So we have Windows, it's available for Windows, Linux, and OS X. We're going to go with Windows today. I'm using Windows 10 to install this. Just to give you a heads up, some warnings might come up about using an antivirus while installing this. Please ignore those warnings for the time being. So, what we're going to do today is that we are going to download the program. So, we want to click below, beside downloads, XAMP for Windows. As you can see, it's downloading at the bottom. Just have to be patient, wait for that to install, 13 seconds to go. And this program shouldn't take much space. One second to go. Alright, let's get started. We're going to install the software and let's get going. Alright, so you want to go where the file is located. For me, it's on my desktop. Xamp file right here, as you can see. You want to double click that. Would you like to install it? Yes. Just have to be patient with this software while it unpacks all the files. It seems that you have an antivirus running. In some cases, this may slow down or interfere with the installation of the software. Please visit the following link to learn more about this. If you have issues with the installation, you can check out the link. But I don't foresee that happening. Continue with the installation? Yes. Setup. Welcome to the setup system. So you want to hit next. So these are all the servers you can install. So you have MySQL, FileZilla, FTP server, the Mercury Mail server, Tomcat. Under programming languages, you have PHP and Perl, which is important. You need both of them. And the programming languages, PHP, Webalizer, and Fake Send Mail. Well, I don't need Fake Send Mail or the Tomcat Mail Mercury server. You can leave those in there. It's no problem at all. It won't damage your system at all. Let's hit next. Select the folder you want to install it to. So as you can see, it has C colon backslash XAMP. You can change that to whatever you want. My DIR. But for now, I'm going to call it XAMP. We're going to hit next. Language, English. And next. Setup is now ready to begin installing Bentnami on your computer. Alright, so the program is installed. If you see right here, it says completing the XAMP setup wizard. Setup is finished installing XAMP. Do you want to start the control panel now right here? You see that right there? Click yes. Click finish. This is the control panel. You can access this from in here, as you can see right there. So Apache is the web server where the websites are hosted. So we're going to check to see if that works. So we need to start the program. And in the future, if you want it to start up every time Windows starts, you want to click the service so it installs it as a service in the Windows system. But right now, we don't have to do that. So we're just going to see how well this works. We're going to click start. Let's start the web server. Shows open ports, port 80, which is HTTP, and port 443, which is HTTPS, must be open. This is for local use only for right now. And as you can go down here, you can see at 1.16 p.m. Apache status change detection running. Now, we have to access this website from our web browser. And keep in mind, we're only doing this on our local network. So it is easy, as long as this is loaded, it is easy as going to your web browser and typing in the web browser at the top bar, localhost. But what if we're on another computer on a home network? We type in localhost, it's not going to come up if it's on another computer. We need to find out the IP of this web server. So, that's easy to figure out. I'll show you how. So go over here on the screen where it says Shell. I'm going to click that. This will open up another black box. Ooh, scary. Nothing to worry about. You want to type in one command. To find out the IP of this machine, we need to type in something called ipconfig. ipconfig. Just like that right there. Press enter. 
So the IP of this machine, you want to go down to the Ethernet or wireless, whatever you may be on. The wireless IP version for this machine is 192.168.0.107. We want to take this number right here and put it in our web browser. Let's go over to our web browser and give it a shot. Let's see how it works. So we want to take this number, 192.168.0.107, and put it in this browser. So 192.168.0.107. Ta-da! Website, web server has installed. Congratulations! XAMP has installed on your system. You now have a fully functional web server on Windows 10 system. In the next video, I will show you how to customize this page, how to change it, how to install WordPress, how to install applications, and I will also teach in the upcoming videos how to use MariaDB. MariaDB is a database program that you must have for certain applications, PHP and Perl. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. This is Engineer Corner. Have a great week.